Welcome back to YouTube How To. I'm your guide in this quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to customize a YouTube channel and today we're going to use one of my newest channels, Andrew Jean Fitness, as an example. So make sure that you are signed into YouTube. There's two ways that you can do this. On the top right hand side, you can go ahead and go into your channel or you could click YouTube Studio or here on the home page, you could go ahead and click Customize Channel. That's what we're going to do here today. You will be taken to this page right here. You can see your channel dashboard content playlist and we are in the customization tab it looks like a little magic wand lots of options here on this channel customization page i'm going to show you some of my favorites and some that you absolutely should do here you can see in the video spotlight tab we're under the layout section I have the same video right here. Now, if you want to change this, you certainly can. This is a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed and you can change it for returning subscribers. You can see right here, I have three ellipses, three dots here on the right hand side. Go ahead and click that. Here's where you can change the video or remove the video. If I go ahead and click change video, you can choose all the videos from your channel that you would want on that channel trailer for those people who haven't subscribed. Now I will say the video that you have in your channel trailer will get more views than most videos on your channel. So something to keep in mind. You can see also here I have featured sections. So I have two other YouTube channels, my energy and cleaning channel and the YouTube how to guide channel, which you're viewing right now. And then I have different sections. You can see here different playlists that I have decided. If you want to add a section, Again, this is completely customizable. You can see right here, customize the layout of your channel homepage with up to 12 sections. And anytime you want to learn more, you can always click the blue highlighted link. Let's go ahead and click add section right here. Here are all the things that you could add to the layout of the homepage of our YouTube channel. And you can see here, I've chosen single playlist, but you can do feature channels, which is right here. The possibilities are endless. I like to put playlists on my homepage in hopes of keeping people on my YouTube channel longer. One of the best things that you can do is make it easy for people to stay on your channel and find exactly what it is that they need. Let's move over to the next tab, which is branding. This is a really fun one. If you want to change your profile picture, otherwise known as your avatar, you could go ahead and click change right here. YouTube gives you all the dimensions that you're going to want to need. If you're going to use this in Canva, I did create my avatar in Canva. I have the pro version because I like all the options and features available. And here's where you would choose the file, save it to your desktop or wherever you save documents and downloads. The next thing is your banner image. You can see I've created this again. I did this one in Canva. I've created an entire video on it. If we go back to my YouTube channel, we can see that banner image right here. The most important thing is to make sure that it looks good on mobile device because the majority of your viewers will be viewing your YouTube channel from their mobile device. If we scroll down just a little bit further here, we have the video watermark option. I do suggest that you use this. You can see here I have a subscribe button and I have it on for the entire video. You could have it displayed at the end of your video, custom start time. I recommend that you just keep it throughout the entire video. Again, here's where you can change your video watermark. If you have any questions related to these things, make sure that you always click the learn more tab. You can see right here, YouTube does its best to help you and it will give you more information about that specific topic. Let's go ahead and go back here. We're going to go up and we're going to go to basic info right here. Now, I do recommend that you take some time to really consider what you put in this description right here because this can often appear in search as well. I have made sure to load up this part with keywords that I want my channel to be known for in YouTube search and in recommendations. You can add a language. This is your channel URL. Again, you can change this once you've met the criteria to something very specific, such as youtube.com slash channel slash Andrew Jean Fitness. You can see right here, I have my custom URL. I've made an entire video about how to create a custom URL so that you're not delivering somebody this gobbledygook right here, but something a little bit more clean, especially if you want this embedded in other places across the world wide web. You can also include links just here. I've included my Instagram handle. And what do I mean by links? 
Let's go to my channel really quick so I can show you exactly what I mean. You can see this link right here on the top right hand side. If I click this, this is going to take you to my Instagram account. People will often include their freebie, their website, their email opt-in offer as well right here. A couple more things here really quickly. You can choose how many links are on your banner. First five links and you can see that I've just selected one on this particular YouTube channel and then contact info. Let people know how to contact you with business inquiries and this is where I have my one of my business emails. I have another one here. I will advise you take heed to what I'm about to say. The email that address that you include down here you are going to get spammed by tons and tons of people trying to send you their free stuff and trying to get you to buy stuff and click on particular links. Most of the emails that you will receive as a brand new channel are going to be garbage. If the offer is too good to be true, chances are you are potentially being scammed. I delete about 99.9% .9 of all the emails that I receive and my largest channel so far is over 400,000 subscribers. So that's why I said I have two separate business email accounts, one specific for YouTube and one for legitimate business inquiries. Click this video on screen now for some additional YouTube tips. Give the video a thumbs up, lots of freebies in that description box for you, and I will see you in the next one.